recently I was asked by one of my students in the social media, you know, can you give us an example of how to communicate what you value in terms of other people's values? So I'll do that. Um, when my wife was, was alive, before she passed away, I had um, sometimes went up to her and I said, I gave her a hug, put my arms around her and held her for a moment and said, I'm about to go on tour and I'll be going to three or four countries and I'll be back in a few weeks. And um, if I said to her and I walked up to her and I, I gave her a high five and said, see you later, babe. I'll talk to you when I can. Um, I'd probably be castrated and probably when I got back, she wouldn't be there. But if I went up to her and I gave her a big hug and just held her for a moment and said, um, it's time for me to go on another tour and I'll be going to three or four countries and I'll probably make a good salary, good amount of money. And uh, what I'd love to do is um, see if you can meet me in Venice because I'll be ending up in Spain and then over into Italy. And um, if, is there any way you could meet me in Venice in three weeks? And I said, because what I envision is that as we could go to the Daniele Hotel and we can stay there. And you know them, they have a great masseuse there. And we can get a massage there. We can go shopping, have a beautiful dining, have a romantic time together and uh, walk around Venice and have a romantic uh, Italian experience. Uh, is there any way you can meet me there in three weeks after my tour? And she would say, absolutely. It would not in Venice is just one of them. We'd meet some different, we'd kind of rendezvous. We were jet set gypsies. We'd rendezvous in different places. So if I gave her associated some benefits to her in her values, because she liked shopping, she liked massage, she liked going to spas, she liked going to romantic places, she liked good dining. If I gave her an stacked associations that was valuable to her, um, associated with what's valuable to me, and I communicate what I want in terms of what she wants, she pretty well gave me freedom to do whatever I want. But I have to care enough about her to communicate and think out what exactly is important to her. And how do I link those important things to what I want to do? And if I do, she has no problem me doing it. She gave me freedom to do it. But if I told her, I said, look, I'll, I, I don't know when I'll be back. I'll call you when I can. Um, I'll wake her up in the middle of the night and then uh, not have any rendezvous with her or something like that. She's gone because I'm not respecting her. So caring enough about another human being to find out what's highest on their values by doing a value determination process, you can do it on my website for free. It's private. Have your spouse do it. Have you do it. And make links between what they value and what you value. If you ask the question, how specifically is what they're dedicated to, what their life demonstrates is the most important to them and inspiring to them, how specific is it helping you do what's most important to you? If I can find that, I will then respect her values. I won't be talking down to them. I won't be condescending to her. I won't be careless. I'll be actually caring, which keeps the rings on the finger. And um, then I will basically communicate what I want in terms of what she wants, because I will take a moment to reflect on what it is that she wants and carefully communicate in, her, in terms of her values. Zig Ziglar taught me a long time ago when I was 20. Uh, you know, if you help other people get what they want to get in life, you get what you want to get in life. So that's how you communicate in values. Now, if you go and find out how her values serve you, you're not going to want to fix her. You're going to want to appreciate and respect her. If you find out how your values serve her, you will have a better idea of how to communicate what you want in terms of her values. So making the links and taking the time to ask how specific is her top three values helping you fulfill yours? How is your top three values helping fulfill hers? What is, what is, how is what she's committed to and dedicated to and what her life demonstrates is most important serving what you're dedicated to, what you're committed to and what's most important to you and make a links when you link the top values between people, the respect level, the dialogue, not alternating monologues, but the dialogue goes up, the respect level goes up, the love and appreciation goes up, and you're now caring about them when you're talking to them and communicating with them. If you do, you'll consider talking in terms of their values, and she wins. So I would do that with my wife, and she would say, love you, honey. Thank you for working so hard. I'll meet you in Venice. I can't wait to go there. I, I love going there. Thank you so much for... And then she'll, she'll associate me working hard and doing what I love with what she wants. And then if I'm not around her, I will give her a call and communicate with her. And I'm thinking about you. And I 
And if I do something that matches her values, so where it's unexpected and special, then she feels that she's loved. But if I don't and I take her for granted, then I deserve to have her find somebody else. So it's a, just a, a lesson in basically caring enough about other people, not to put them above you, not to minimize yourself, not to put them below you. If you put them below you, you're, care, you're going to be careless to them. Put them above you, you're going to be careful walking on eggshells. If you put them equal to you, caring, you keep a sustainable, fair exchange, dynamic relationship. And that's the keys. Take the time to link values. Take the time to communicate what you want in terms of their values. And think in advance. Before, you're, before I leave, if I don't think in advance and I just impulsively just go, oh, got to go now. See you later, babe. Call you when I can. Well, I'm just deteriorating, deteriorating the relationship. She wants to be loved for who she is, and who she is is an expression of her highest values. I want to be loved for who I am. Who I am is an expression of my highest values. You link them, you're both getting to be loved for who you are, and that's what people want. So that gives you an idea of something you can do to link values and communicate in people's values. If you do, you get somewhere. It's called sales. Caring is the same as sales. If you try to project your values on them, people don't want to buy it. Because it's what you want, not what they want. Find a balance. Whenever you get a sustainable fair exchange where both people win, a non-zero-sum game, it works. And, it, and everything that's going on in our life is trying to get us to understand that. So we can be authentic and we can respectfully communicate what we value in terms of other people's values. And if we do, we go farther in life and have more fulfillment in life. So just wanted to share that with you. Thank you for the question. And um, hopefully someday along... I can show you this live personally at the Breakthrough Experience.